Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Closet Historian and welcome back to the space above the blue patterning table of doom where today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration on how to take the standard two dart bodice pattern here the sort of sloper pattern blo bodice block pattern that you see me use here on the channel all the time and transform it into this other pattern you see me use all the time the all-in-one version of this bodice pattern so this is just taking the side dart on the two dart bodice pattern here the black one and transforming it into the all-in-one sleeve here this is actually quite a simple modification so i'll go ahead and walk you through how to do this today because i do use that other block all the dang time which is why i have a card version of that one as well you see me use this black poster board two dart standard bodice sloper all the time but uh, i often just trace the all-in-one because i use the all-in-one sleeve so often uh, it's very useful so let me go ahead and just trace a copy of this here um, again for a refresh on what this looks like after you're done with the all-in-one sleeve. I've done uh, quite a few projects, if not hundreds of projects, using the all-in-one sleeve. So you've seen it a lot here on my channel. Dresses like this one kind of show exactly what this looks like when it's finished. So this is the all-in-one sleeve with a short v-neck. <laughs> Something you see all the time here on my channel. Um, and then I used the same sleeve style or the same bodice block with the all-in-one sleeve for my bugs dress recently and then also for my little wrap tops I keep making. I'll put a card up to this video for how to make these wrap back tops because I am obsessed with them. I think I have four or five of these now and more planned. They're so quick to put together and so nice to wear. Of course I've been talking about using slopers and or block patterns uh, quite a lot here on the channel recently and um, I've had a few requests to show how I make the all-in-one sleeve pattern like this. I have shown this a couple of times here on the channel before so it will be a repeat for many of you um, because in some of my older videos I showed how to do this modification um, as part of a dressmaking or something like that but I thought it deserved its own dedicated video that way I could link to this video all the time when I need to show how to get that block from this one. So here we have just a tracing of our two dart bodice, bodice block here and I'm going to take the green marker here and show you how to move this dart. At its core here this is just dart manipulation slashing and spreading like you see me do all the time and to do so, I'm going to draw a line out from the apex along the dart leg on the side here, and then a line up where we're going to be moving the dart up into the armhole. That's about midway through the armhole, up into the upper third, really. Um, you don't have to be super, super specific about this, as long as it's like above halfway. I wouldn't put it into the bottom of the armhole or anything like that, but you're just going to be moving the dart over there, and I'll just cut this out to do so, because it'll make our dart manipulation a lot easier. Of course, after doing something like this, changing to the all-in-one, or just with your basic block, anytime you have your basic blocks, you can go ahead and, you know, move around the remaining waist dart anywhere you want it to be, use it as gathering instead, use it as pleating instead, um, leave it at the waist or put it up in the neckline, wherever you want. But this uh, dart here, in the side, we're going to transform into the sleeve itself. So I'm going to cut down to the apex, leave it, you know, attached so it's hinged here, so I can go ahead and close this dart, just like so, grab that. Hinge that closed, layer it along the other dart leg. We're just going to tape that closed, and so now there is no more waist dart. We've opened it up into the arm side. You can always move the dart over there if you want to just have a dart into the arm side, by the way. But today we're going to use this fullness, and instead of uh, using it as a dart, we're going to use that excess as a sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down onto some more paper here so we can have room to work and draw our sleeve on. All right. Oh, actually, I think I'll tape this area as well just so you can see what I'm doing without me getting caught up on things. All right, so down here, I'm going to lower this arm hole or arm side by about two inches, and then I'm going to raise the shoulder seam by a quarter inch and just extend the shoulder seam outwards so we have room to work. And here, I'm going to go ahead and extend the sleeve about an inch and a half past my arm. I like to have a little bit of room down here so I can hem the sleeves easily. And I'm just going to curve that into the side seam like so. Easy enough. And we have drawn our all-in-one sleeve. Did you blink? Did you miss it? replay you know instant replay here um we've we've drawn the all-in-one sleeve it was magic again up here at the shoulder line at the shoulder tip i came up one quarter of an inch and just extended that outwards you know along the shoulder line and then i just came down and out at the underarm and now we have this rather boxy looking pattern it's the all-in-one sleeve bodice front we still have our dart at the waist there so that'll need to be closed again you can move that and do whatever you want with it um, you can move it up into the neckline, move it out into the middle, into the center, into the side again if you wanted to maintain this as a side dart. Sometimes you see me use this as same fullness and I'll separate it into two darts into the side. But you can do whatever you want with that remaining dart, but that side one has now become our sleeve. Now of course that was the front, and we will need our back. And the back, you know, of the bodice block here only has 
one dart to work with. So how do we create the sleeve back here? Well, if you thought the front was easy, <laughs> great news about the back, it's even easier. So I'm tracing another a copy of the uh, back of the pattern here. And again, I'll trace in my dart because I'm going to keep this dart here. So I have a copy of the back standard bodice block now. And uh, I'm going to actually raise the back neckline here just because on my bodice block, I need to cut a new card version that has a higher neckline because for some reason it's just really low. You'll hear me talk about this all the dang time whenever you see me with that block because for some reason the neckline is really low on that. Anyway, so to create the one all in one sleeve over here, we're going to take our front pattern. We're going to line up the side seam and just trace the extension we made like so. <clears throat> Pretty easy there. So we're just tracing it so that it'll match up with the front. And again, we'll do the same with the shoulder. So again, we're going to come up that quarter of an inch up here. But I'm just lining the shoulder seam of the pattern up and, uh, and, and tracing that over. I'm just going to straighten off the rest of the sleeve here. Again, I just um, traced the shoulder seam from the front pattern, like so. Extended it out and I traced the side seam, lined it up again down here and traced the side seam. And, and then I just connected them and made sure that the line was smooth. And now we have the all-in-one bodice back. Yes, just that easy. And of course, uh, this has got seam allowance down the center back here to use it as a dress with the center back opening. But you could, of course, cut this on the fold, the back on the fold, and have an opening in the front if you wanted to as well. It's all up to you what you do from here. These are just basic blocks, really. But you see me use just this basic all-in-one all the dang time. Again, it's it's uh, kind of uh, hard for me to not use it. The best thing about the all-in-one sleeve is that you don't have to set in a separate sleeve. You also don't have to cut a separate sleeve. So if you are working with yardage that is narrow or you don't have very much fabric, this is useful because your front and back bodice... Uh, you cut them out and they already have the sleeve there, so like you don't have to cut out a separate sleeve piece and figure out how to fit that into your cutting layout. So I find it quite useful for many reasons, and I just happen to like the way the style looks as well. But there we go, we have our basic bodice block now transformed into the all-in-one sleeve dress bodice front and back here. These are the same as my card versions here. They should line up almost exactly like so. So that's how I got these again you can just trace this onto card if you want to use it all the time like I do but it's a pretty simple and easy pattern to make from the standard bodice block and I hope this video was helpful for any of you who want to give it a try I will see you all again here soon for another video later this week I know this is a short one so there will be another video coming this weekend as well thank you as always for watching today and I'll be back here with more vintage fashion sewing and pattern drafting real soon bye